Hey guys, Barry here, and welcome to your gaming station, Nintendo Back Gaming. And this is our pre E3 podcast before the Nintendo, uh, what is it, direct presentation, whatever you want to call direct, it. Yep. Yeah. So, Mark, we watched, well, not together, thankfully, but we watched. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We watched the EA conference. Well, I watched a bit of it, you know. Uh, we watched Microsoft last night. We'll talk more about that there. Uh, Bethesda. We heard stuff about, you know, Nintendo Raid stuff as well. Ubisoft which is later on today. Uh, PlayStation, which is tomorrow morning for us, 1 o'clock for Irish people, uh, people in the UK as well, and uh, 2 o'clock for Europe. And Nintendo is tomorrow, 5 o'clock here for us as well. So let's quickly go through EA, I guess. The big one for EA, for, I guess, Nintendo fans, is FIFA 18 for Switch. Did you see this? No comment. I don't like FIFA games or play them, but yeah. I'm sure there's a fan base out there that can't wait to play this. Yeah. But it looked pretty impressive though. The only thing that's missing from this version, if I'm correct, is the journey. Is like they're kind of the story mode of the enemy. Like well, a wrestling... story mode. Huh? They have a story mode in it. I saw that. Yeah, but the journey isn't in the Switch version though. No. Oh, it's not in the Switch version? No, it's not. Oh yeah. god, the I think the rest is there, yeah. Oh, that kind of sucks a bit. It's because of their uh, Frostbite engine, if I'm correct. They'll probably reduce the price by a tenner. They did that for other games, I remember. We'll see what happens, won't we? Oh, do you not think they will? <laughs> oh, I don't know, because you know how EA, what their, what their games are. Maybe not, maybe not. It's interesting. Mm. Uh, but yeah, if I'm correct, it ran like 60 FPS or something. And you can actually use the two Joy-Cons as, you know, two controllers. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, but it's cool. That's so right. you have two players always on the go, you know, on one system, which is very nice. And yeah, I didn't see anything else really of EA. I've no interest. They had Battlefront 2. Yeah, but I'm only messing around like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, but it looks good. It looks like yeah. they have a story mode. They had the voice actor on stage and she did a really good job. She actually seemed super interested in what she was talking yeah. about. Which is nice. Yeah, she, she done well, but I feel like she's kind of a bit awkward as well. Because the crowd were, you know... Maybe. Doing... You see, she's used to doing voice work. She's yeah, so it's different, yeah. 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 I guess it'd be different for me, kind of, you know, because she's actually done stage. Yeah, I don't know if she stage. has done stage, but, you know, it's just... She might have done of... play stuff now. But, uh, yeah, but the kind of the presentation that wasn't kind of clicking with the crowd, I felt, you know, it wasn't, there was no kind of chemistry, if that makes oh, sense. Oh, you think with her in the crowd? Yeah, there wasn't really there, if you get me. It was kind of awkward, I found. I think she did a pretty good job. Uh, yeah, I'm happy that, you know, Battlefront 2, the DLC will be free for everyone who buys the game. Because, uh, number one, there was a season pass, and if you didn't buy the season pass, you couldn't play certain maps and certain modes, if you get me. And uh, split the community. Yeah. Yeah, so this is, uh, like, as they say, they're getting everyone is coming together, you know, for this game. And who gets this game will get the DLC absolutely free. Uh, John Biega and uh, Captain uh, Phasm as well, is that that's correct? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Jeez, Mark. So, so much of a Star Wars fan. But, uh, Episode but yeah. Episode the best one. <laughs> I'm not going to go into that rant, <laughs> right? <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. But will we see more gameplay, you think, of... FIFA at Nintendo show? I'd say they'll do one of those things where they have like, here's 20 upcoming games and yeah, they play yeah, like yeah. 10 seconds yeah. each one. I'd say that's all we'll see. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Microsoft was interesting last night. Microsoft had a very good... for what Microsoft usually is the worst conference of E3s, I, I find anyway. And this year, I think they blew it away. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I felt that the energy... To, well, the energy to start. It was really good to start, but then it kind of went downhill for me. But what uh, maybe killed it for me well, as in you know it nailed not killed but you know it nailed it was the Anthem game yes the Mass Effect spiritual success or whatever, whatever it is yeah looks but, really good but the thing is that game isn't exclusive and correct it's going to be an all platform game oh they couldn't make that exclusive they might have exclusive DLC for the first 30 days or something yeah maybe that or they might have the game released on the first uh, oh, yes. Xbox for it, first month or something and then it comes out it well, might have been a launch exclusive yeah that might be what that it is that might be what it is exactly uh, yeah and Minecraft as well let's talk about Minecraft oh this this is one of my highlights the Microsoft one because yeah. they made Minecraft look beautiful like this game it's aged a bit now yeah. Like if you look at it, but they've got a new lighting system. Mm -hmm. The texture pack looks kind of realistic, but yeah. it also just looks really aesthetically pleasing. What is it called? The Is, is it the Super Duper skin pack or something? Something like that. Yeah. Super Duper. Yeah. Pack. So, yeah. And if you don't know as well, everyone, I guess, PC and Switch users for now anyway that I know of are going to be able to play together. So it's cross platform. And I'm glad it's like that. 
and we have the Microsoft uh, Realms, or Rems, whatever it's called, is coming out soon. Uh, August, if I'm correct. No idea. Yeah, but uh, so we will be getting like you no know, the servers, you know, yeah. thing for Switch as well. I personally have no interest in that. So I'd rather just, no the oh the, the realms yeah the I'd rather just play with friends you know yourself yeah, like just yeah. do your own kind of map you have to pl- pay for the you pay for that yeah what is that like fifteen quid a month I think it's like twenty on PC or something it's oh, ridiculous no way no way probably be whatever more expensive for I don't consoles. I don't know exact prices don't uh, is it thirty whatever the hell it is I've no interest but yeah it's from what I can remember it was the first time we've seen a Nintendo I guess console in a Microsoft video because we saw the Switch in Minecraft form and block it in block version that was pretty cool. That's true. I think that it, was, it had the blue and red Joy-Cons kind of sticking up. The, one of them sticking up. Oh, did they have that there? Yeah. I didn't in, even notice yeah, that. Yeah, in the, in the video. Yeah, it was pretty okay, cool. that's pretty sweet. Yeah. I like that. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what's happening now with Minecraft for Switch anyway. What we'll get. I just can't wait for the Super Duper Texture Pack. Yeah. But Which, will we get that though? Will it only be for 4K systems? No, I'd say we'll get it. We just won't have the 4K option. Yeah, okay. I think we'll still end up with it. Mm. Although the lighting system could be taxing. So I don't know. Like, the Switch version is only 720p. Uh, See, so I know as we speak, they were having problems with the dock and, you know, leaving it, uh, and you know, undocking of the uh, the resolution. So they had to leave it at 720 because, you know, to bump it up to 180, which they, they can do. But they were having issues, you know, with the screen resolution or something. I'm thinking now, uh, it's the texture pack that they brought up. So I'm wondering, will the lighting engine just be implemented into the game for free? Uh, probably, but... That would be amazing. Yeah. Because the lighting engine alone looked fantastic. Yeah. It looked pretty nice, I must say. And, you know, me with the 4K TV uh, and, yeah, you know, YouTube. Yeah. Humble brag right there, 4K. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, uh, actually, Zelda looks pretty beautiful on my TV, I must say. Runs in 60 FPS. Even though the game isn't 30, but 60 FPS is lovely. I saw you after. Oh, I need to see that. Yeah, you do need to see that. Yeah, so Ubisoft as well, which is coming up t- uh, tonight. What's your opinions on that there? You'd oh, sorry, sorry, uh, Bethesda. Oh, Bethesda. Yeah, first, sorry, yes. sorry. Uh, Skyrim. On um, Switch, which uh, I like the portability mode yeah. and all. But I've played Skyrim twice before, so do yeah. I want it I, again? You see, I got it on PC, but I, I got rid of it after. I got my money back. You know, with Steam, you can do that. Like, Oh, yeah, you haven't played it for over two hours. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I liked it, but I just kept getting killed. So I, I <laughs> you can turn the difficulty down. I know, but I think I did. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah I was pretty happy with, like they actually are going with the you know the motion controls which is I, to me it's cool you don't have to do that but oh are they actually implementing like right uh, one you can do right hand left yeah, hand yeah like left shield hand. and okay. sword and no, stuff yeah that's cool I've yeah yeah that. and the whole amiibo that they showed off last night oh that bit's amazing yeah that that, that you, is pretty you've cool you've got Link's outfit from Breath of the Wild yeah the blue one now the blue one yeah but I wonder is it only that amiibo or will they go for like for example, you know, the original uh, Smash Bros. Link, the Twilight Princess sort of Link, you know, the green yeah. costume. I hope they put that in. I doubt they'll put in Mario stuff. No, I can't see Mario. Like like you said earlier on, actually, in the car. Maybe Zelda would be cool because you can play as a girl in the game. Yeah, we were saying that Zelda, because you can play as a girl, you'd probably have the Zelda outfits. Yeah. Maybe some Fire Emblem stuff. Do they have Fire Emblem Amiibos? I don't even know. Yeah. They do. Maybe they'll have Fire Emblem stuff. They're coming out soon, anyway. Actually, now that I think of it, you can build a house in Skyrim. Mm. So maybe if you scan like a Mario one, it'll give you like a mushroom to decorate your house with or something. No, oh, yeah, I guess. Maybe yeah. they'll do something like that, which would be pretty cool. Yeah, but I like that, you know, because that uh, from what I read there, it was always a dream for them, kind of working with Nintendo. Oh, Bethesda. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. But you know, we're getting kind of exclusive content that you won't see anywhere else on yes. different, different versions. Although someone might mod it in later on. Oh yeah, the, true. Yeah, but will we get mods for this game? This version. Oh, God. Will Nintendo allow it? I don't know. Nintendo's very protective about online. Yeah. Very protective. But will we only get mods uh, me, only for a Nintendo system? Would, would you mind that? Oh, that'd be nice. Actually, you know what? I say that, but Mario Maker, they give us free reign with what we've created and uploaded. True, so. yeah. So maybe we'll get mods. Maybe, can the Switch handle mods? Would it be powerful enough? I don't know. But like, okay, I know it's not the best example. But look at Minecraft. You can build anything you want in that game. Oh, yes. Actually, you know what? Now that you say that, I believe this Switch's graphics card is four times more powerful than a PS3. So I it, could, it might be able to handle mods. We'll see. Like, we don't know. Maybe we'll see the true power later on. Maybe this year or next year of the Switch. Yeah. I know with Odyssey and stuff coming out. Oh, I can't wait for Odyssey. We'll get to that one, though. We've already yeah. start talking about that yet. Uh, yeah, Ubisoft as well. You know, we, we did see the Mario 
uh, cross rabbits, you know, the Battle Kingdom game. Yeah, which I don't even want to <laughs> think about. And then we we saw some, I don't know, I think they were real or they were just kind of like really good looking 3D models of Amiibo. Of the four characters that we saw of the rabbits on screen. Oh, are they actually going to release Amiibo or is that just like a piss take? I... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> can't say that. Uh, I think they will. Yeah, they I, th- will. I think they will, yeah. They, they need to get that Amiibo stuff. The Amiibo sells a cockcake, so yeah. get as much as they can of it out. But like, like I said you know, a while back, Amiibo, it's gotten very quiet. Has it? I think. I thought they were only after releasing new Fire Emblem stuff. Yeah, but I mean, like, it's not heavily, you know, like, remember for Wii U and stuff? It's yeah. not heavily advertised, you know, go get it now kind of thing. I think when Splatoon 2 and Mario Odyssey comes out, then it'll go crazy. But, see, with, with Splatoon 2, they've only shown off three Amiibo. But will they able, will we be able to do, you know, as in, like, will it be, is it going to be the same content, if you get me, from, like, can we use the same Amiibo from last time for the new game, or will this oh, new yeah. Amiibo... Ex- unlock new content that the other old Amiibo won't use won't work with I'd say the new stuff will have new stuff and the old ones will have like retro throwback right. stuff to the first game okay I'd say that's what they'll do it's interesting you know because they haven't you know said anything hopefully we'll see more tomorrow and like I'm sure I'm sure we'll see more arms in the direct oh, as well oh do you think will they have arms Amiibo no it's too late because they've only it's too late it's out this week sure yeah but Amiibo still sell yeah, but the last second like that, no, they're not. I don't. Okay, it, maybe what's, not. what's the point? I don't see a point. You don't think so? No. What if it sells big though? You think they'll? I, like... I don't think it'll sell big. Hmm. Maybe when the new Smash comes out, they'll bring arms characters into it. Possibly, but amiibo. yeah, but I don't know. That's a long uh, way. Yeah, like Ubisoft. Will we see another Splinter Cell, for example? Oh, didn't they just come out with a game for Tom Clancy? Uh, Wildlands, yeah. Was that, oh, they did, yeah. So I, well, maybe they'll have a. How many teams work for Tom Clancy related stuff? There's so many. I see, I don't know. There's I, Ghost Recon, we've uh, Splinter Cell, we have. See, there's Wildlands as well, you know, but there's other games. But did uh, did the last Splinter Cell sell any good? Sell good? I don't know. So the last one was. Uh, what was it? Was it? Conviction, was it? No, the one we have. Oh, I have, Black Cell or something, was it? Uh, Blacklist Blacklist yeah that yeah. was a great game I've only played about 10 minutes of it I have on PC I need to get yeah, back yeah having a Wii U is deadly is it the boys got it for me how long birthday, ago was yeah. that that came out uh, maybe 3 years ago possibly okay, so maybe we'll get a new one this year it has been a while since Tom Clancy yeah and after Metal Gear Solid sold so well mm-hmm. they'll want to jump on top of that money train yeah now speaking of Ubisoft as well there we saw Assassin's Creed Origins looks incredible like I got like a Zelda you know vibe from it as well and Metal yes. Gear and the whole sneaking thing the whole jump up in the air freeze time shoot arrows yeah they definitely took that from Zelda yeah yeah uh, me that's not an Assassin's Creed fan this to me looks really cool because it's the whole you know Egyptian thing oh would you pick it up do you think I might yeah it looks good if that came to Switch the setting looks yeah. incredible I've seen a lot of people giving out online about the eagle thing because apparently that's in Watch Dogs 2 you've got a drone that, oh the drone know. yeah which I, 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 see the, I see the comparison yeah yeah but a lot of people get, but I think it looks good I think it looks fun speaking of Watch Dogs will we see Watch Dogs 2 on Twitch do you think Oh, maybe. A reveal. Watch Dogs 1 was on Wii U, so yeah. maybe we'll get number 2 on Switch. Because like, if they can port Watch Dogs 1, they can port Watch Dogs 2. Uh, imagine if they ported Watch Dogs 1 to Switch. No, they wouldn't. That game's not very cared about by the public. I guess. I guess 2 got a better reception than two, 2 yeah. did really well with the critics. It didn't yeah. sell that well because there was still a lot of negative connotations from yeah, the yeah. first one. Yeah, first one, yeah. Understandable, but yeah. Critically, it did really well. Yeah. Pretty sure it got all 80s and 90s. Good game, which you haven't opened yet. I, still, Let's not talk about I got that. it for Christmas and I still haven't opened it. Uh, yeah, well, we see more exclusive from Red, uh, from not from Ubisoft for the Switch. Yeah, for Nintendo. Like uh, you know, hmm. for a while I've wanted Red Steel One and Two, you know, remastered on Switch because the whole Joy-Con, it's the motion control thing, which is it was released for Wii. The two games were, so I don't know what will we see anything new for Nintendo. Just Dance, I think we'll see definitely this year. I think. Now, don't quote me on this, but this might happen. We will see a remaster of Rayman Origins and Rayman Legends. Both of them combined into one package and put on Switch. But what, what are we getting for Switch, though? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, we're getting Legends already. Oh, we're already getting Legends? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's been confirmed. Oh, well. Shit, then. I don't know what there is they could put on Nintendo. He's way far behind, kids. I'm, I, I am way far behind. Uh, I don't know. It's interesting to see. 
Oh yeah, maybe we'll see some steep footage. Steep is coming out, no? The, the skiing game. Oh yes, I remember seeing that. Yeah, is that coming to Switch? Yeah, it's coming to Switch. Yeah. Okay, they've got that. I. Uh, Let's see. Probably they, see more of it this year. If only they remastered 1080 snowboarding for Nintendo 64. Uh, that was a great game. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, PlayStation now. Oh yes, what are our thoughts and what will be there? Well, yeah. Uncharted: The Lost Legacy. Yeah, it's guaranteed there. You're hoping for The Last of Us. Too. I think we'll see Last of Us uh, some gameplay, a, a, a small teaser. Uh, I'm not sure. And then hopefully they'll see more. We'll see more next year and release it next year. I think this year will be another teaser trailer. No gameplay. Maybe like a, a tiny bit of gameplay. Like, yeah. Oh look, they're shooting, and then straight back to cinematics but look at what they've done for the first last of us right they the first one they done the cgi you know the trailer yeah remember in the hotel which was act which was in the game anyway but you know it kind of they kind of changed it a bit or running outside whatever yeah but that was in the game and then the second year it was kind of outside the hotel and then jumping into it if you get me okay that kind of that kind of uh setting and then then the uh, third year they showed what was it I think I'm correct with this. I can't remember what it was, but then the they released it. The scene wasn't it in the tutorial. I could be wrong too. Whatever it was, yeah, but they released it that year, I think. But I think we'll see something. So do you think the next trailer will carry on from the first one? Maybe like she's in playing. I don't know. Will it or, or, will it be different completely? Or it might be, or it could be beforehand. It could be. It could be what what Joel was doing. Maybe, yeah, maybe we'll see everything from Joel's perspective. Well, perspective. I thought this game was... Well, I'm just taking guess here. Is Ellie you're not in control of in this game? Oh, you are, but I mean like... It'd be a lot cooler if you're playing as Ellie. Yeah, but I'm, we'll see anything to do with Joel though. Like another trailer. I don't know what's happened like. So it's been confirmed you play as Ellie? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Like that. <laughs> well, where have you been under I, a rock? I, I, for some reason I thought you were still Joel. Like, no, no, no. Okay, that's that's cool. Maybe they do what they did for the first game. Maybe we'll play as Joel. Like they for did for Ellie. Chapter. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah, I'd like that. Or maybe Joel will get killed off really early. Where would ruin it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, interesting to see. Yeah, I think we'll see on last was, I hope so. Uh, Uncharted, I think definitely. It makes sense because it's out this year in yeah, September. Yeah, definitely. We're going to get that. I'll get it free, thankfully. Yeah, well, for Season you. Season pass, yeah. Order, um, what else? I don't know. The Crash Insane. Yeah, Crash Insane Trilogy. Yeah, I think we'll see more of that because it's at the end of the month. They'll show. I'd say they'll show a brief bit of that, but we've yeah. already seen gameplay and stuff. I don't know if much to show off anymore. Yeah, I don't think that much more needed is that really? Like a little bit, maybe like in the, like a you know like a package of all kind yeah. of games. Maybe we will see. What you call it? Uh, God of War. Yeah, it'll be there, and I bet you it, and they'll have Call of Duty stuff there. Yeah, because oh. last year Sony had Call of Duty. Yeah, we'll see World War Two definitely. We'll see the World War Two one. I bet they'll have like a thirty day. You get the DLC yeah. thirty days in advance mm-hmm. on Sony only platforms. And besides that, I don't really. They'll maybe they'll bring up some new IPs. Maybe you know what they'll probably have a uh, Horizon DLC. You know that. Perhaps yeah version. yeah. I'd say they'll show mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Besides that, I don't, I don't really know. Does Sony have? Oh, you know what we might get. We haven't had no <laughs> Infamous. <laughs> Oh yeah, that kind of went to shit. Yeah, they, they kind of <laughs> screwed down up. But you know, we might end up with a new one because it's been that right amount of time yeah. to give us one. Actually, the one I have, what, uh, it's one before First Light. What is it, Second Sun? Is it? Oh, Second Sun, I think. Yeah, it's not bad when you first play, but I I, can't, I get bored of it after. Yeah, it's very samey. I I played First Light and I was bored like halfway through the game. It's pretty cute though. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Okay, will we see a new GTA? Okay, like there, will we see a new PSP, a new PS Vita, the spiritual? Well, I, the spiritual. I think. Watch my Who's the the owner president of Sony? Oh, I can't. You know, I, I don't, I don't know his name, but I'm pretty sure I read a quote from where he was there saying that uh, they just didn't know how to handle the Vita and they had to give up on it. So I'm pretty sure yeah. we won't see a Vita too. Will we see a PS? Uh, what do we see? A sex or a, a se- successor? <laughs> Jesus what Christ! Are you talking about? <laughs> to the Pro? Will we see a PS Five or something? I think they will hint at uh, because Xbox got Scorpio coming out. They're gonna need yeah. something to be like, oh, we've got this. Yeah. If you stay with Sony, you will have this. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'll just call it Pro Two or Pro XL. I don't know. Or Pro Plus. <laughs> Pro Plus. Or Deluxe. <laughs> Pro DX. Nintendo files are low. Yeah. Because uh, like there, Scorpio, it's five hundred dollars, and it's a it's a true four K system, and it comes with a terabyte of hard you know storage from correct, and everything you everything you own from Xbox One, Xbox One S, 
will work perfectly on it. Along with 360 games and yeah. the original Xbox games. Yeah, which are coming out this year. Which will be bumped up to 1080p through super sampling. Yeah, yeah. But like, you know, we had this uh, you know, talk in the car, you know, on the way down. Mm-hmm. About the price point of Xbox Scorpio. Yeah. Uh, I'm geez, I'm calling it Scorpio, even though it's Xbox One X. But anyway. It's going to take a while to get used to it. Yes. Uh, it's, yeah, 500 is expensive. But if you compare that to a, a 4K PC rig, you're spending over 1,500 euro. Yeah. More, you know, over two two grand, you know, on just for the actual the system itself. Not, not even the screen, you know, the monitor, like. No, oh, yeah, I know what you mean. It's uh, you're a lot cheaper off getting the Xbox One X. Yeah. But I think a lot of people are gonna find it hard to spend a type of money on it. Oh yeah, well, understandable. But like people who don't who do own an S, which is when did that come out? Last year. Uh, the S, yeah, it was last year. Last year, yeah. But the only advantage, really, well, well, the so to say, you know, in better performance. Yeah, I'm sure it is. You know, on a standard HD TV, and look better somehow. But the 4K is the big one that they're going for. The 4K is going to be pushed big now. Apparently, the adoption rate of 4K TVs is faster than the adoption rate of 1080p screens mm. were back in the day. Yeah. So it's good they're pushing 4K. But, uh, I don't know. Okay. Plus, the original... Uh, this is another point. The original Xbox One, not the X1 One X, but the Xbox One... Yeah. Is, I think it's down to 200 US dollars or 250 US dollars now. They price yeah. dropped it just before E3. So Microsoft could make a small comeback, but I still think Sony's going to win this generation. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, over forty million PS4 sold. Forty million! Wow. PS4s, yeah. That's a lot. God. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Do you know any uh, number for Pro systems being sold? No, but I'd say it's doing pretty well. I say it's doing okay. I can't see like me that has a Pro. You know, I'm happy that I got it because stuff like Uncharted. You know, you've seen it on my TV. Yeah, it looks. Incredible. It looks. It does. It really looks incredible. Last was you know remastered looks great too. But I cannot wait. You know, like for last part two, would look yes. even better again. That's gonna have a lot of pro exclusive features. Oh yeah, definitely. I need to get a pro. Yeah, you need, you need to get a pro. <laughs> and a four K TV. Yeah, uh, yeah. So let's talk Nintendo. Okay, let's. What we want to see there, and what we think will actually come up, is two completely different things. Well, what I want and what I will see is definite Mario Odyssey. Yeah. Because it's confirmed going to be there, and that's what I'm most excited yeah. for of all E3. Because that first trailer got me so hyped. It's just oh, yeah, incredible. Yeah. Um, I, I'm so jealous that Canada gets to have a playable demo of it, which I wish I had on the E3 floor. God. Damn you, Sean Capri. But anyway, sorry, go on. <laughs> no, but it looks really good. It's a return to the old school Super Mario Galaxy 1, 2, yeah, Super yeah. Mario Sunshine, 3D exploration. Yeah. Not just run around longest path in 3D land. And I cannot wait for it. 3D world as well, too. 3D world, of yeah. course, yes. Uh, the graphics look really good. Oh, yeah, I'm happy with it. I don't know, like, it's... Will we... I just want an Animal Crossing game. I oh. think we will see Animal Crossing as a surprise. Will it be 3DS, though? No, they have to do for Switch. It you makes think? sense, Switch, yes. I think we're going to see Monster Hunter. Uh, oh, yeah. Will we see Monster Hunter World or something? I think that's just the name of Monster Hunter XX. Oh, in America. I think that's what they're trying to... Yeah, it, it's, it's been filed in America, trademark or whatever it is. Yeah. I think we'll see that. I think we'll see more of uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Oh, yeah. I forgot all about that. I wonder yeah. will we see that. Mm-hmm. We'll see Zelda DLC. Yeah, definitely, yeah. But will we see the first or second? Because the second one's the big one. It's the story DLC. I think we'll see the second one later on during the year because the, the first one will be the big one. See, it depends on what they want to show us because there is going to be... Is it one or two stories that we're getting extra? No, it's just the one. Just the, one story. The first DLC pack is a difficulty mode. Yeah, a hard mode. I think there's dungeons being added. Yeah, dungeons, yeah. I guess it does kind of make sense to show everything in one go. I think they'll then, have to show the second one. Yeah, and then we'll see more of the story in, yeah. later and on I'd in the say the I'd say the story pack will be a reference to an old game, like Twilight mm. Princess or something. Yeah. You have to do something related to that. I oh. think we'll see uh, Amiibo function. No, because they're releasing Twilight Princess Amiibo, you know, with uh, the Link figure and uh, you know like, like what else are they releasing Skyward Sword you know they're releasing new Amiibo for Skyward Sword really yeah but for Breath of the Wild <sighs> you know like a costume is, yeah you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bad game very bad game let's not go on with that there yeah <laughs> let's think of positive things yeah 
No, like, as you know, like, a lot of Nintendo games that we're getting for Switch is Deluxe Editions. That's the problem. We were thinking earlier, like, will they make a Pikmin 3 Deluxe Edition? I wouldn't be surprised. I, I'd say they will. I'd or say will they, they go for surprised. 4? Pikmin 4? Uh, no, I'd say they Well, is be... Pikmin 4, is it technically, hey, Pikmin, for 3DS? I hope not. No, but, like, see what I'm, it's the next game in the series, like. Yeah, I get what you're coming from, but I really hope not. Yeah. I hope it's just a side game. I would say we will be getting an announcement of Super Smash Bros. X DX version. I'd say that's going to happen. <laughs> I d- it's a big thing because like, those graphics are pretty much yeah. the same as what you could do in Switch. So they're just going to port it over. Yeah, yeah. And I'll say all the DLC characters will be free. We, we, we all include in the package, include, yeah. And they'll probably add in like one or two more and then just call it mm. a day. I'd say that's going to get announced. Now, will we see... Uh, for Odyssey, will we see... Because like I said before, I think we're going to see two player in Odyssey. Oh God, that would be incredible. I think it will. Um, do you think we'll see Amiibo, Amiibo as well for it? I don't know though because uh, there'll be Amiibo. I was thinking they'd have Amiibo, they'd have a Luigi Amiibo and to play as Luigi you have to swipe it. Isn't that just like a cheap way of... Because you can play as Luigi for Ga- Toxic in Galaxy, Galaxy 1 and 2. 2. So I'm thinking maybe they'll have it so like, oh you've got 120 stars whatever, play as Luigi or swipe this straight away play as Luigi whenever you want. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe that's what they'll do. It'd be a cool way of doing it. Yeah. But like, look, look at DS, Mario 64 DS. You can play it as Wario and Yoshi as well. That was a great game. Yeah. They should have ported that to the 3DS. The <laughs> new graphics. Oh, I'd buy day one. Yeah. Look, okay, will we see Star Fox Zero Deluxe? No. no. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe. Because that's the one of the, that's one of the most recent games they come out with. So, I don't know. Maybe they'll say, like, no more motion controls. Play Star Fox the way we want. I think I, I was thinking yesterday. If... If they had motion, you know, see that the, the whole gyro thing, you know, on yeah. and off. You, uh, if they had an on and off option, the gyro would be actually controlling the ship, like the 3DS version. Yeah. Like 64 3D. Which I still need to get. Get it. Get, it's actually it it's a really good, good game. It does look good, I know. It Plus, is. that's one of my favorite games of all time, is the 64 version. Yeah, uh, yeah it gets all the, the praise, that one. I don't, I, I can't disagree with it, though. 64 one. Oh, it's perfect yeah it's just one of those perfect games I've ever made it's the one of those games where you can pick up play 20 minutes mm-hmm. and then you're done it's like great time had yeah I don't know I just what other surprises will we see like the whole rabbits as well will we see more of it there you think I think, I think it, it will yeah. it will show it there yeah because that, cause it's got Mario and all those yeah. on the, it'll show it there I'd say Ubisoft will have like a, oh look at this game that's coming out now mm-hmm. go over and watch it on Nintendo yeah but uh, I'm not too hyped for that I'd say we'll definitely get at least one big shock reveal. They have to. Yeah. They have to announce like, oh, here's one game coming out. Maybe it'll be F Zero. Maybe it'll be Pokemon Snap, because the Switch would be cool with Pokemon Snap. I'm not ready to please. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the oh yeah, Pokemon Tournament DX. It's gonna be. Oh, there. that'll be there. Yeah. It's and gonna get. I'll definitely be there. And Pokemon Moon and Sun. It'll probably show like here's five minutes gameplay. Yeah. Here's some new features coming to it. Yeah, we'll see more Splatoon. Splatoon 2, yes, that's something I actually would like to see. Yeah. Like, what will they add? What will the story mode be? That type of stuff. See, I don't want to see too much story. I think just to have, like, a, a separate direct beforehand comes out. Oh, you think so? Because I just... No, it's, it's because we already know what the game is there. You know, it is. And what's there. You know, we don't... Obviously, we don't know all what's in the game. Yeah. But, I mean, like, leave space, leave time for new games that we haven't seen before. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I agree there. Because they have the Rex every two months. Yeah, I, So no. just have one then. Uh, what we haven't touched on, and they probably will be talking a lot about, is mobile games. Oh, like Animal Crossing, yeah. They have a new Pokemon in development as well. Mm-hmm. I don't know, it's not Pokemon Go Retin, but the new literal Pokemon mobile game. They're going to talk about Super Mario Run. They'll probably have like an expansion pack, to what I'd say. Mm, well, I don't know what to say. Probably something like that. What other one? They have Fire Emblem. It's selling like crazy. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah, it's so doing very much well. money off that game. I don't know how. No but offense. I know. They're going to shill that game now. You're going to hear a lot about that. You're going to, oh, sign up now, get free stuff. I bet that's going to happen. Yeah. But I'm not, I don't really care much about mobile Nintendo stuff. I think it depends on how it's going to work. I think we'll see more now of. Okay, will we see more of the app? Oh, the Nintendo app. Is yeah. it any good? I've never used it. No, I mean, no, there isn't one Nintendo app. I mean, like... There's for one the, out now at the minute, doesn't it? For Switch, that's coming out. Oh, right. Yeah, like the gonna, whole The phone... You no, know, the chat thing. They're going to have to talk about it's the It's disaster. Chat. What was Reggie thinking? <laughs> that's all Reggie. That's what I, you were. You just have to blame Reggie for this stuff, because you know he had a say in it. Apparently, his body was ready, but I don't know. <laughs> Our bodies were not ready for that announcement. Um, 
I think maybe will we see more? Will we see more of the? Will we see more virtual console for GameCube or something? Oh, I see. I'll no. say as I was saying before, they'll do one of those. Here's ten upcoming games. Roll through them quickly. Get them off. You've yeah. seen that. That's all you need to see. You've seen these games a hundred times before. Will Miyamoto be there? Well, he was seen. Was it yesterday before at E3? Oh, he was wa- he? Walking to the convention. I always just love center. seeing Miyamoto there. He, he literal seeing him makes me happy. He always <laughs> has this big smile on his face. <laughs> Brilliant, so even if he's pissed off he'll smile yeah, he'll still smile at until he gets into your yeah. room and then him and Reggie will just go ape shit yeah I don't know it's just interesting to see what we'll we'll get tomorrow oh maybe we'll get a Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze DX I don't want that do you not want that I'd no. like that no I, I'd like for more people to be able to play that game speaking of Donkey Kong will we get like a remaster of the 3D game oh Country Returns no no of oh. Um, Donkey Kong uh, 64 oh my god there was rumours like even a sequel to that game there was rumours uh, like 7 years ago that they were going to, no it wasn't 7 years ago it was about 5 years ago that they were going to remaster Donkey Kong 64 and put it in 3DS and we still never got it to this day and I'm still waiting for that hmm. but I don't think we'll ever get that oh, that was a great game yeah I don't know I don't know there's a the Nintendo Wii 3 is going to have I'd say it'll have to have a big announcement of some secret yeah. game my money's on Pokemon Snap I hope so, Pokemon. Or yeah. F-Zero. Either F-Zero or Pokemon Snap. Have well, you got any guesses of what you think? Well, I would be? love... I personally would love, like, a HD remaster. Like, even just release Red, but, like, like sharpen the pixels on Red for the Switch. Pokemon Red? Yeah. Oh! Or, or even the Game Boy Advance version. That I would like, yes. The Game Boy Advance version, probably. Yeah. Because it's more colourful and stuff. I don't mm-hmm. think the red would work, but I'd love it. Actually, they just announced gold was coming to... Yeah, gold and silver. 3DS. Yeah, it? for uh, virtual console. Which makes yeah. me wonder, why did they not just put crystal on it? Which has all the content. Is gold and crystal not the two of them? No, gold and silver. Oh, sorry, silver. Sorry, sorry. And crystal is the third one, kind crystal, of. Crystal, yeah, yeah, yeah. here's more stuff, and yeah. they just... I guess they're waiting a while to release that again. Like, will we see Pokemon Stars? What's Pokemon Stars? It's like, you know, sun, moon, and stars. It's like the one for, for oh, Switch. Oh, you see, that's what I thought was going to happen. But a lot of people were hoping Pokemon moon, moon, bleh, moon and Sun would get ported to the Switch. But I guess that's not happening. This should do for sales. Like, I know America is finding it hard to get, you know, Switches, you know, people in America. Yeah, it's selling like crazy over there. Yeah, it's so easy here. Like, I just walk into the shop and yeah, like, get one. It's no problem. One. But I mean, like, why don't they do it, though? Why? Do what? Pokemon. Uh, oh, to Sun- the Switch. Yeah. Because if they do that, why will people buy 3DS anymore? But it's going to be finished up anyway. Do you think they'll announce a new 3DS? Like, not like 3DS XL or any of that shit, but actual 4DS uh, or whatever you're going to call it. I don't know. I actually do have an idea for a 4DS. I actually said I'd do it in a video. Go for it. Okay, you have... See, I'd rather like actually do it like like a cardboard kind of cutter if you have me like paper. Oh, your actual idea for it and put that. A forty-eight, it. yeah, I think it would really work. Okay. As a handheld, it'd be different. Like I think it could, as the you know from a, a developer's standpoint, it could really work. Oh, you're gonna make another video about this. Yeah, I think oh, so. Oh, stay tuned, folks. <laughs> See that video. Okay, put it this way. Right. Oh, Project Zero. Sorry, Project Zero. Oh, I want to see you on the Switch. Please put a DX version of that. <laughs> and bring over their Japanese outfits that they cut out of the, the English one. Yes. For some random reason. What I what was I going to say there? The 4DS. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The 4DS. Let, let's just say, for a game like Five Nights at Freddy's would really benefit off the 4DS. And I'll explain why in a video. Oh, keeping them waiting. Yeah. Well, I'm interested to see what your idea for a 4DS. I'll show you I'm, after this. I don't, <laughs> I don't see you. But, right. uh, I, I don't have a clue what to do for a 4DS. Like, the Switch is pretty much like what I imagine the 4DS would be. So maybe there will never be a 4DS. We'll see. Yeah, well, have to, and if there isn't, then we'll finally get a Pokemon that's actually HD and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it'd be better off if we don't get a 4DS. All right, Mark, I think we'll chicken wrap things up. Yes. We did have a nice chicken wrap earlier. A chicken roll, but yeah, same thing. Ah, same. It's all grand. Chicken, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. What, what do you think about it? If you watch any of the, uh, the shows, you know, uh, I guess PlayStation, by the time you're talk, you know, watching this video, or Ubisoft, or whatever, you know, 
Are you looking forward to anything in specific uh, for Nintendo? Please do let me know in the comment section below. And if you're new, thanks for watching and please subscribe. Much appreciated. You can, of course, check us out on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Vine, and Twitch. And for more Nintendo and video games, keep it right here. Thanks for watching. And as always, guys, stay fresh. Thank you.